Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this video, we want to explore some of the basic options available for character assets within the interface. So if I select my character asset here, over on the right hand side, the first option we have is the name. Now this name isn't shown throughout the game. It won't be visible to your users. This is just a name that's for your purposes. So choose a name that's easy to remember, that's easy to identify your character by. In this case, I'll just choose the name Viking. I think he's a watermelon Viking, so that makes sense to me. Next, we can edit the collision shape. This is the hit zone for the character. And if I click edit, we can edit the specific shape and really refine things. Now, this is a pretty boxy character, so I think this default rectangle works pretty well for the character. But if we wanted to get really specific, we could add a few more points to this collision shape and really make a specific hit zone so that we don't have as much open space around the character's arms and, and head where we've got some of this blank space here and really refine that a bit more. Keep in mind that you can add and subtract points. If I wanna subtract a point, I just select it and click this button right here and that removes one of the points. You can also reset to four points and you can also change this from a polygon shape to just a circle. Polygon allows you to be a bit more specific but circle's a pretty simple hit zone. I'll go ahead and switch this back quickly and close this out. And next we have our default animation. When our character is not performing another specific action like running or shooting or jumping, this will just be the standard character animation. And it makes it easiest if you drop this idle or default animation into BuildBox for your character first. You could also edit this animation if you like by clicking the edit button. And here I can see what the animation looks like by default and play through that, as well as adjust the frames and specific options for this animation sequence. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll cover some more advanced character options.